right facing the Florida State, obviously a big rivalry game. Yeah, it's a, it's a big rivalry. Um, it's a big game for us, big game for them too. Um, I'm looking forward to it. What's your memories from last year with just being involved with it for the first time, being in the, the, the game itself and uh, I assume things were ramped up a little bit for you uh, being in a game like this? Uh, like, uh, I mean, I just remember, I don't know, I just, the whole, I mean, the whole game I, re I remember, um, a lot of big plays, um, fans are really involved, um, you know, it's going to be loud, so that part, yeah, just the energy of it. I know you always wear a knee brace, but is, is this a different brace? Like, do you have a different brace today for some reason? No, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I've had this, like, the whole year. You have, okay. Yeah. It's weird, it's different. Um, so talk about the keys, you know, FSU's defense, you know, what do you see from them? What do you have to sort of be able to do against them? In terms of maybe establishing the run, whatever it is, you know, what do you see as the keys for, for you guys to really get this thing done? Well, um, honestly, I mean, just cut out all the all the bad ball we've had. Just cut out the penalties. Um, that's a big thing. Um, cut out penalties. Cut out penalties on third down. Um, and if we can do that. We can run our base our base offense. Brad, I know it's time to coach Foley now. Basically, you go to the line of scrimmage with a couple different options. You basically, call based on what you see at the line. Um, Obviously, there's some plays there that you saw stuff and it just didn't work. How, how do you, you know, how do you, when you go to line of scrimmage, what are you looking for? What are the first keys that you're sort of looking at? I mean, yeah, just what, what most quarterbacks do. I mean, just read the front. Um, how many down line, how many down linemen there are. Mm -hmm. um, just the linebacker alignment and um, safety rotation. Yeah. Obviously, that everybody talks about that play on the seven yard line where you guys had like third and five, and I guess you checked to the run on that, and you guys didn't get the, what you wanted. But coach said you guys had what you wanted with the safeties being high, and you, know, you felt like you made the right call there, just didn't execute. It was that. Yeah, we just gotta. I mean, you know, I make the call. Everyone's gotta execute it, so everyone I mean, has to yeah. do the job. Ten other guys do their job the same exact way, so just gotta get everyone, everyone on the same page. What do you think is happening on third down? Coach was talking about connecting. That that's ultimately the struggles. You know, I think you're 13 of 35 mm -hmm. passing. How much of it do you put on yourself with bad passes or guys just running wrong routes? What do you What do you think is happening there that, that it's not having more success? Um, just there's a hole. I mean, it, just everyone's got to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, that's what it comes down to. Everyone's got, everyone's got to be on the same page and. Um, just got to get into more manageable situations. For you, for you personally, I know so much pressure is always put on the quarterback. How, how badly do you want to win this game? To sort of, you know, everybody talks about Coach Golden hasn't won a big game yet or a signature game. How much do you feel this falls on your shoulders to, to deliver that? Yeah, well, as a quarterback, I mean, a, 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 a vast majority, I mean, of the, in terms of the offense of the ball, um, you know, I impact the game a lot. Um, but I want to win every game, honestly. Um, I want to win every game bad. But it's college football. Every team's good. Um, but you know, this is a big game, and of course I want to. You know, I, I, of course I want to win. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Some of the receivers were saying you, you sent text messages out, encouragement. What, what's kind of been your message this week? Did you, did you send any text messages or stuff like that to them? Yeah, I just said um, just the plays got to show up on game day. That's the biggest thing. Got to make make the plays when they come to us. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. I mean, we can make all the plays we want out here in practice on Green Tree, um, but they got to show up. You know, if you make plays in practice and you don't do it in the game, no one's gonna know. You guys were up 23 to seven on FSU last year. You, you were steamrolling them. What? What? I know you don't want to always talk about last year, but is there anything you've learned from that experience that you guys didn't score more and didn't put them away? We just gotta gotta um, play all four quarters and finish to those four zeros in the clock. That's the biggest thing. Four, uh, four zero finish. So we just gotta finish better. Did you guys attack as much as you wanted to in the second half of that game? Um, I, I don't really remember, man. That's <laughs> a year ago for me. So okay. I, I'll have to watch the film. Mm -hmm. Watch all the plays he did. I mean, not, I haven't really diagnosed that film of that game in, mm -hmm. since, I mean, in, in a while. I mean, of course, I've watched a few clips, but I, I mean, that's last year. Mm -hmm. so. Does that feeling of walking off the field defeat in that game, does that still linger with you? I mean, is that one of the ones that was maybe the more yeah. painful losses? I know all of them hurt, but just because you had them on the ropes? Yeah, it was just a rough loss. Um, you know, just guys on our team, that was a huge game for them, for a lot of our seniors. Um, just wanted to I mean, we as young guys just wanted to win the game for them, and um, we let them down. We feel like so. Um, of course, it, it's always a big game, but yeah, that one pretty hurt. That, that one hurt pretty bad mm -hmm. last year. Seemed like you guys didn't really recover from it afterward. Like that was kind of just the beginning of it. Um, I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> that's last year, so I mean, yeah. this, this is 2015. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, do you, different team. Obviously, it was such a big game. You had you won it. Um, but do, do you invest as much emotion in, in this one this year? I mean, because it's. FSU did the ace the first ACC game, or do you treat it any differently? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, of course we, we I mean, we invest emotion and focus into all of our ACC opponents. Um, 
every single one because they're all they're all playing us with the same intensity. Um, so, I mean, I mean, for, for, from our side, um, you can't put too I mean, too much too much energy into it because when you uh, press too hard, you're gonna make mistakes. So, um, gotta stay level-headed. But of course, I mean, we see that it's our rival. So, I mean, laser focus is a big is a big key for us this week. It's just having that focus, not 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 so much as just overzealous, over prideful energy, but um, just good focus this week. Is it kind of uh, nice or is it kind of weird starting out against uh, Florida State? I know in some years on Labor Day you guys did that, but you know having your first ACC game against Florida State, it's pretty big. Yeah, I'm um, sure it's, yeah, it's yeah. big for it. the ACC, ACC Digital Network and all the uh, you know, media sources. I'm, I'm sure it's, a, it, it's good for that. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter for us. I mean, we're playing them I mean, if it's Labor Day, if it's October, November. Um, it's it's a big game either way. How Brad, how hard has it been away, even at Cincinnati, to, to hear everything and you know, for the offense? How have you guys been doing with that? I hear what? Just you know, when the, when the crowd's making noise and all yeah. that, for you guys to, to um, run your plays and do it smoothly. It's not really. I mean, it's not really. That hasn't really affected us too much. Um, you know, we go on silent on the road. Right. Um, it's just getting the playoff in time. It's not really much. I mean, the crowd doesn't have a huge factor into that. Um, so, I mean, Cincinnati wasn't like the loudest, you know, team will play, uh, loudest atmosphere will be in, I'm sure. Um, this coming Saturday, that's going to be pretty loud as well. Um, for us, it's just getting the playoff in time. That's a, that's a big thing, especially, you know, on these, on, on these um, you know, big TV games, you know, for, uh, Saturday night games, Thursday night games, mm -hmm. the clock runs a lot faster, and there's a lot of different breaks for TV purposes. So, we got to just be able to get the playoff faster, especially on these big stages. Brad, through, through the first four, what have you been able to see from Joe just on the field and too? Like, you know, he kind of got thrust into a leadership role when Gus got hurt mm -hmm. in that running back room. What have you seen from him and how has he handled that in your opinion? Um, yeah, I mean, he, he has become a, a, a huge leader. Um, he really encourages guys. He, you know, he gets on everybody. Um, and, like, he, he helps the offense function. It's a big thing for us. Do, do you think he's filled Duke's shoes? Um, I, I mean, the. Hard, it's hard to say. I mean, because it's been a lot of good running backs who've been came before Duke. So, right. um, but in terms I think of what he, just, he means to the offense, because Duke obviously meant so much in so many different uh -huh. facets. I wonder if because it looks like he has. It looks like he's yeah. Like, I mean, in, back. in terms of what, of what a, uh, you know, a running back does at the University of Miami, I think he's he's uh, upheld that legacy. He's just got to keep going, keep going. So it's it's only um, what fifth game of the season. So we got to got to keep on him, and he's I mean, he, he's going to get better and better uh, each week. What do you see from their, from their secondary and particularly the and what he does for them? Yeah, they have some um, some good athletes who can run to the ball. Um, I think there's a couple guys banged up, but we're expecting them to play. I mean, this is a big game for them as well. So um, good athletes who can, you know, long, tall guys. I don't, I don't think it's a single guy on their defense that's below six foot, six one. Um, so big athletic guys who can make plays and run to the ball. All right, last question, guys. I know former guys reach out to you all the time. Any any special phone calls this week from, from guys like Gino or anybody like that? Um, uh, not yet. Not yet. So I'm sure there'll be some. Great. Thanks, guys.